Fantastic. Russell Gagan back at you with another video from Russell's Fishing Tech. Hope you're having a great winter. We're getting ready to wrap the videos up here for the end of the winter, early spring season. Um, I thought it was spring when I got home from New York, but realized pretty quickly after I think about 12 or 14 inches of snow here in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, that it's back to winter time. So I got a really special video for you today that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, Lily the Pounder, as uh, almost everybody who followed me knows, is my daughter. She's 14 years old now, and uh, she's been fishing tournaments with me since she was four or five years old up and down the lake shore uh, of the Salmon um, Tournament Trail. And last year was her first year as kind of a uh, part-time slash more full-time uh, first mate on, on board a lot of the Dumper Dan boats. So she spent a lot of the summer uh, on the back of Dumper Dan 1 with Jackson, um, you know, charter fishing on a daily basis, which was a ton of fun for Dad when I went out there to share information with her and talk about fishing. But she said, Dad, we need to do a Lily's must-have seven flashers for the 2023 season. So that's the topic today. Lily wants to tell you what she thinks her seven must-have flashers are going to be for the 2023 season based on her experience from 2022. So we'll start with the first one, Lily. Um, why don't you tell them about this one? Uh, that one's good out of my 200 copper and my 150 copper for, like, all-around fish. Like What's the name of this one? Mountain Dew Stud. Mountain Dew Stud, yep. So you're saying 150 copper, 200 copper, that's where you really like to run this? Yeah. And you catch all kinds of fish. Uh, not just kings, but steelhead, lake trout, coho is just a really good overall flasher for you. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what kind of fly you like to run behind this one? Rumination. Rumination. Okay, good. Good. All right, so Lily's first one, and again, these aren't in, like, numerical order necessarily. Just these are her seven must-have flashers. First one, Mount Dew Stud UV. Uh, second one? That's UV, I mean, Gold Dragon. Do you want UV Dragon or Gold Dragon? Gold Dragon. Gold Dragon, okay. Um, that one's good on their um, outside wire. So outside wire, or also known by a lot of people as a high wire. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like out like Wild 11, I think, or 101. 111 or 101, that Wild in Lancor. For like steelhead, like kings, mostly kings I caught that out. Mostly kings? Yeah. Okay. And when, when did you run this? Later in the season. Later in the season, like July, August time frame? Okay. Uh, do you remember if they had a particular fly you liked on this one? or? Um, I think it was the Hulk one. Hulk UV? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a fly that I don't use much, so um, I'm glad to hear that you, you had some success with it. Uh, this one's really not hard, uh, hard to believe, but uh, the third flasher on Lily's must-have seven list is... Megatron. Megatron. What do you like, where do you like to run Megatron? On my 200 copper. 200 copper, so a lot of times you might have your, your 150 uh out uh but the mountain do start and then maybe a 200 with megatron yeah was well, there any particular fly you really liked mercy mercy you mean yeah. <clears throat> okay did you run this anywhere else or almost always every day what's that every day on your twitter now what does it catch for you king big kings king. big kings all right i like it big kings for lily the pounder all right so we got next very similar flasher was designed to go with the megatron also one of my favorites Jackson's Barracuda. Jackson Barracuda went on my low wire 81 out. That one caught basically everything. Kings, coho, steelhead, plate trout, basically everything. So inside wire or low wire on a one and a half setting out 81. I know you were running that a lot early in the season in particular um, when the water was cold and the fish were up high. Um, you did really well with this. It is a great multi-species flasher. You get some big kings on it. You get some cohos, some steelhead. Do you remember what fly you might have liked on this one? I think Jackson had illumination on for me. Illumination on, yep. on, on it for you? Yeah, by the time that was done, almost all the fly material was gone. Yeah, you caught a lot of fish out of there. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Um, this one was one of my best ones last year, too, so I was really excited to see that you picked this one because I don't think we talk about it enough. Your fifth flasher out of your must-have seven flashers for 2023 is Russell's Value, which is a unique one because it's got the, the white back and the chrome front. Um, you, you did real well on this? Yeah, I did good on my 300 copper on that one. 300 or 250 copper. It's a little bit deeper. Yep. You remember what fly you had on it? I think I know. I don't remember, know if you remember. No. It was the new fly, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. And yeah, the glowing mint that, upper hat. Yeah, yeah, the mint one. Yeah. The green one, yeah. And what? when did you do well on this? What time of year? Like mid and later. Yeah. July and August type stuff. Yeah. Um, what did you catch mostly on that? Big, big kings on that one. 
big kings on this one. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Well, now we're going to get into two kind of, you know, a little bit different and something we've been talking a lot about here on the Russell's uh, Fishing Tech YouTube channel, which is our fish plates. And I was really excited to see because, you know, 100% truth here. Um, I let Lily pick these out. This video was Lily's idea. I'm excited that she was excited to get on the camera and do it. She's always been a little shy to the camera. Um, so she wanted to do this and she picked two fish plates, which I was excited to, to see that she picked and hear that she had that much success on them. And the first one that she picked was the 10 inch um, Studs Blue Chim. That Blue Chim was running good on my inside wire when I didn't have the 8 inches on with like um, just a normal fly. Like I think it was like Mercy or something. That was like 121. And then I would have like another fish blade or 8 inch above. But that one was really good for kings on my inside wire. So to interpret that a little bit, so what you're saying is once that that Jackson's Barracuda out 81 on your inside wire wasn't doing good anymore. Then you went to this Studs Blue Chin on your inside wire down deeper, yep. like 121. Yep. And you were using our 30 inch meter to a fly. Yep. And you said you could mercy you rewrite a bit what you were doing well with it. Yeah. Okay. And what were you catching mostly on this? Kings and like a couple blade shot here and there. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, I really believe these fish blades are particularly king blades. They do catch some lake trout, some steelhead occasionally. Um, that's really sixth must-have flasher for 2023. The final must-have flasher for 2023, Lily's seventh one, is also one of my favorites. And I, I'm just in love with this thing. It doesn't matter if it's an 8-inch, an 11-inch, a 10-inch fish blade. This one happens to be a 10-inch fish blade, but it's Green Jeans UV, um, which is hard to beat. Green Jeans was good on my high wire, uh, like 111 out, I'm pretty sure. And I remember when Jackson went down to the cabin one time, it was my first time running it. And that thing just slammed the outside wire and it was going crazy and i was nervous to get it because it was just hauling over like in front of the inside wire and i grabbed it and it was like a 27 or 28 and all the customers were just freaking out because how big it was and jackson came up screaming because i was like i need help getting this thing out but then i got it out well that's a good job and a pretty cool story at 14 years old for uh, a young lady to uh, be on the back of a charter boat be aggressive enough to grab a hold of a a wire diver rod out 111. Uh, she's got the old man and grandpa's odd numbers going, which I like it. Uh, you know, to catch a 27, 28 pound king, that's great. Do you remember if you had a fly in particular that you liked behind the screen jeans? Um, it might have been mint or illumination. I think it was illumination, if I remember right. Um, and you would use you were using the 30 inch leader again. Yeah. So, a little bit later in the year. Uh, you went to more of these fish blades on your wire divers? Yep, to get deeper down. Yeah, and that was more when there was more kings around, mm -hmm. right? You were kind of specifically targeting kings with these in particular? Yeah. Okay. Well, I really appreciate, Lily, that you were sharing all your um, success with flashers last year. Uh, just to do a really quick recap, Lily's seven must-have flashers for 2023 um, are all salmon candy flashers, obviously. Uh, Mountain Dew Stud 8-inch, Glow Dragon 8-inch, Megatron 8 inch, Jackson's Barracuda 8 inch, Russell's Valium 8 inch, and then two 10 inch flashers, the uh, Studs Blue Chin UV and Green Jeans UV. Hope you guys enjoyed our video today. I thought it was a fun one to do. I hope you did as well. Thanks, Lily. Lily and I will see you out on the water.